All right, hey boy, I'll take you out there. You can dig for your treasure, you can dig up the whole desert. But let me tell you something. You won't find a thing. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Yes. Oh, hello, hey boy. You busy, Mr. Paladin? No, it's on your mind. Oh, uh, <clears throat> hey boy, I want to share news of great good fortune. Good fortune? Well, wonderful, hey boy. What is it? Oh, here. Uh, this is letter come for hey boy. All the way from Mexico. Oh. You read, Mr. Paladin. Yeah. Uh, dear Mr. Chang, after a thorough investigation which has proven you to be a man of sterling character, you have been selected to share the proposition I am about to unfold to you. Some time ago, during an insurrection, an important man in the Mexican government... Uh, hey, boy. Yes, sir. Before I read any further, let, let me guess. This man, did he escape across the border into the United States with a lot of gold? Oh, yes, sir. Untold fortune in gold. Uh-huh. And he buried this untold fortune in gold somewhere in this country. Yes, sir. Then he later went back to Mexico and on his deathbed revealed to the man who wrote you the letter where he had buried it. Yes, sir. Uh, only a man who wrote the letter... Uh, wait a minute, uh, hey, boy. I'm still guessing. Oh, you guessed pretty good. Now, the man who wrote you the letter isn't able to undertake the search for the treasure himself, and he is generously willing to share the secret of the hiding place with you for a 50-50 split. But there are certain expenses involved, huh? Yes, sir. $2,000. Uh-huh, 2000 And if you send him the $2,000 to cover the costs as... Evidence of your good faith? Of course, he will send you the information telling you where the gold is buried. Am I right? Oh, Mr. Paladin, how you know all that? <laughs> oh, hey, boy. Do you know why you received this letter? Oh, you saw, because hey, boy, is man of sterling character, like it say here. No, 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 hey, boy. Because somebody has you marked for a mug. Huh? A sucker. Don't you remember when you first started working here at the Carlton? The man who claimed to be a miner sold you the gold brick? Oh, yes, sir. Gold brick turned out to be lead. Very sad. Oh, well, believe me, the, this letter is an older bunco game than the gold brick. Bunco? Of course. If you send $2,000 as evidence of your good faith, you'll never see the money again. Oh, but, uh, hey, boy, did send $2,000. You didn't? Oh, yes, I did. I send all my money, or Missy Wong's money, and uh, take up collection for members of Celestial Dragon Society. Oh, hey, boy. Didn't that gold brick experience teach you anything? Oh, you saw me, Sir Paladin. Teach you, hey, boy, never buy gold brick. about best-selling records. Here's a familiar tune about America's best-selling filter cigarette, Winston. Winston gives you real flavor, full, rich tobacco flavor. And you know, that's because only Winston has filter blend up front. Choice, flavorful tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. No wonder Winston tastes good, like a cigarette should. Smoke Winston. Hey Boy, Miss Wong, and the members of the Celestial Dragon Society had been swindled. But there was nothing I could do about it. Their money was gone. That night, I went out on the town. I had a big evening and a big head to prove it. When I returned to my room at dawn, I hung out the Do Not Disturb sign. 
I must remember to have one printed in Chinese. Mm. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Who? who? Uh, Mr. Paladin, mm. Mr. Paladin, most important, we see you. Oh, hey, boy. No, later, hey, go away. Mr. Wait. Oh, well, I might as well give up. All right, come in. Oh. Come in, come in. Good morning, Mr. Paladin. Good morning, Miss Wong. Oh, morning. so sorry to wake you, Mr. Paladin, but must talk business. Why so early? We wish to hire you services, <laughs> Mr. Paladin. What are you talking about? Oh, we received mail this morning. Map of buried fortune. Most essential, we waste no time. Oh, yes, sir. You what? Map of buried fortune. See? Now, let me look at that. The Arizona desert. Wow, this is carrying the fiendish cruelty to an extreme. Why isn't he satisfied? Just take your money. You don't believe this map is on the level. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. We yes, wish sir. to hire service, Mr. Paladin. Uh, when we find gold, we pay you generous fee. Hey, boy, I'm not going to have any part of this nonsense. Oh, then maybe, Mr. Paladin, you tell us best way to get to this place? You mean you'd go by yourselves? Yes, sir. To that wild country you know nothing about? Yes, sir. To dig for a treasure that doesn't exist? Oh, no, but we must go, Mr. Paladin. Uh, made big investment. Oh, <laughs> you poor, sweet, trusting babe. Mr. Paladin, we lose $2,000. We not go. All right. I'll take you out there. You can dig for your treasure. You can dig up that whole godforsaken desert. But let me tell you, you won't find a thing. But maybe it will accomplish something. Maybe it'll teach you a lesson. The map designated a strip of the Arizona Territory that bordered on Mexico's Zona Libre, or Free Zone, a haven for fugitives from American law. I still couldn't quite figure out why the swindler had sent the map unless it was to postpone Hayboy's inevitable awakening to the fact that he'd been hoaxed. I had only hoped that somehow this journey would lead us to the man in question and the return of Hayboy's original investment. It was a long, hard trip by stage to Nogales, where we rented a wagon and equipment. When we finally arrived at our destination, Miss Wong and Hey Boy were still full of high hopes and good spirits. We had just made camp when I saw a rider coming toward us. I went out to meet him. Howdy. Hello. My name is Sweeney. Bill Sweeney, Arizona Ranger. Uh, hello, Sweeney. My name is Paladin. Paladin? I've seen your outfit and your equipment there. Looks like you might be figuring to do some prospecting. Uh, well, uh, in a way. Uh, Mister, I don't like to be discouraging, but you're wasting your time. Oh, I'm sure of it, but you see, I'm only acting as a guide. Those are my bosses over there. Oh? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't blame you none. If you can make yourself a few dollars... If they got a mind to, let them go ahead. Let them dig for gold where there ain't none. Exactly. Hey, will you stay and have a cup of coffee with us? Well, thanks. Uh, some other time, maybe. I gotta get back on the job. What's the ranger business out this way? For several months now, we've had a 24-hour patrol on this border. Oh? Uh -huh. Ever hear of Professor Burdick? The big-time eastern crook? Yeah. Well, he come west. Pulled the biggest hold up in this territory. Gold. Fresh out of the mint. A government shipment? Yeah. We was on his trail and lost him. Then we got a tip he's hiding out in them hills. Right over there. In the free zone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So close you could darn near spit on him. And we can't touch him while he's over the line. But just let him or that sidekick of his step a toe over on this side. We'll get him. Well, gotta get. So long, Paladin. Yeah, so long, Sweeney. Stop by again. Might do that. Your nose will be counted this April. Yes, every nose in the family by Uncle Sam's official census takers. You may already have received your advance questionnaire in the mail. By filling it out beforehand, you'll save your time and Uncle Sam's. Refer to the enclosed sample and make it accurate. Satisfy yourself with the census taker's credentials before handing over the questionnaire and answer all questions. It's confidential and it's the law. 
The purpose behind this nose count, it's done every 10 years, is to bring our population statistics up to date. More than that, we learn from the figures the areas that are growing and those that are diminishing in population. We learn to anticipate future schools and colleges, public facilities of every kind, where the need is growing for supermarkets, shopping centers, and so on. The census count will be more important this year than ever, so answer all questions fully and accurately. As we said before, it's confidential and it's the law. After the first few hours of watching Hey Boy with the shovel, I pitched in to help. I could see he was never going to give up until every inch of the area had been explored. Four days later, we hadn't found any gold. But we had a lot of blisters and a dozen good wolf traps. (coughs) 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 Hey Boy! Hey Boy! Well, Miss Wong, would you bring me the ladder? I want to get out of here. Yes, sir. I'll bring Mr. Pilot. Uh, I'll get the ladder here in just a minute. <clears throat> oh, there now. You can reach? Yep. Yeah, I've got it. Here we go. Yeah. We've got to start filling in these holes we got around here. They're dangerous. Somebody fell in without a ladder, he'd... You'd never get out. <laughs> you dig almost to China this time, Mr. Paladin. Huh. I'm beginning to believe it. Uh, Miss Wong, I have had enough. Oh, Mr. Paladin, mm-hmm. not give up. We find treasure. You wait and see. Miss Wong, in an unguarded moment, I agreed to this foolish thing, thinking it might teach you and Hayboy a lesson. Mr. Paladin, but I... Mr. Wong, oh. <gasps> hey boy. Oh, sorry. Come on. Yes, sir. You be careful. Don't fall in one of those holes. Oh, boy, hey, boy. Hey, boy, what, what happened? happened? What is it? You all right down there? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Paladin. Hey, boy, what's the matter? Oh, it takes lots of time, lots of dig, but hey, boy, find treasure. You what? Hey, boy, find treasure. Look. I didn't believe it. It was a heavy iron chest, and even after we put the ropes around it and dragged it up out of the hole with our team of horses, I still didn't believe it. But then we opened it, and suddenly the whole thing began to make some kind of sense. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is the most exciting moment in life for Hey Boy. Must now seek kind of benefactor in Mexico to defy untold fortune. Hey, boy, if my hunch is right, your benefactor will come seeking you. Oh, I don't understand, Mr. Paladin. Well, I'm just beginning to. It's a pretty elaborate scheme, but... Yeah, it's the sort of thing Professor Burdick would do. Oh, who is Professor Burdick? He's a thief and a swindler, hey, boy. On this last job of his, he helped himself to some gold being shipped from the United States Mint. It's so shiny. It's too shiny, Miss Wong. Those are freshly minted coins, and there's no question about it. That's the loot from Burdick's robbery. Oh, seeing funny, Honorable Professor. Very gold, same place, say on map from benevolent gentlemen in Mexico. Hey, boy, I'm afraid that your benevolent gentleman is none other than Professor Burdick. Sure, this whole thing has to be a setup. He stays safely on the other side of the border, gets his gold dug up for him, and makes $2,000 in the bargain. That's your money. Hmm? So far, his scheme has worked out just the way he planned. We're going to have to move fast. Hey, Mr. Paladin, you already moved too fast for Hey Boy. Well, I'm sorry, Hey Boy, but you see those hills right over there? Yes, sir. Now, anybody on those hills could watch everything we do, and I have a hunch that's what's happening. Today, Professor Burdick and his partner watched us pull that chest out of the hole. Now, if my hunch is right, they'll be paying us a visit soon. Batman come here? Well, I figure he'll wait until the ranger patrol is at the far end of the strip and then come across and try to claim his gold and then get back over the line before the rangers work down to this section again. Oh, no. He can't take a gold. Oh, we fight him. No, no. Hey, boy, we can't take a chance in a fight with Miss Wong here. They're desperate men. No, we'll have to hitch up and get the gold into the ranger camp before Burdick has a chance to get to us. It'll be dark soon. Come on. The house is so torn up. Well, you wanted that room paneled, so I pitched in. Then stopped. 
because of nagging backache with sleepless nights I've had lately. I feel tired and dragged out. Don't just complain of backache. Do something. But what? Try Doan's pills. Good advice. That's Doan's pills, an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains, may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, buy Doan's big economy size. Hey, boy, Miss Wong and I took separate chores and worked as fast as we could loading the wagon. But still, the daylight was gone before we were ready to leave. If my hunch was right, we were cutting it awfully close, but I thought we could make it. Miss Wong. Over here, meet the pilot, Doc. Ah, uh, is your gear all packed? Yes, our food and blankets already in wagon. Ooh, such a black night, Mr. Paladin. Missy Wong can see two feet ahead. Where's Hayboy? He went over there to get shower. Well, as soon as we get this chest and the rest of the equipment in the wagon, we can leave. I think I'll go give him a hand. Be careful of holes, Mr. Paladin. Awfully dark. I will. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, is quite all right what? at the moment. Burdick. Well, remarkably fast draw, sir. I didn't expect you quite so soon. But let me warn you, if you choose to fire that gun, your Chinese friend will be killed. Hey, boy? Yes. Louis will be forced to fire the gun he has at the young man's back. Now throw down your gun, mister. You win, Burdick. <laughs> Bring him over here, Louie. Yes, sir. I suppose you know if you did shoot him or any one of us, the ranger patrol would be down on you before you had a chance to get back over the border. That's the chance we'll have to take. Now, don't think for a moment that I wouldn't shoot. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, you keep moving. Yes, I go. Oh, Mr. Paladin, hey, boy, scared. Just do as they say, hey, boy. Uh, right over here, young lady. Who say that? It's your benefactor from Mexico, Miss Wong. Come over here before you get in trouble. Well, you're a sensible man, sir. What's going on here? Just stand there and do as you're told, miss. They have guns, Miss Wong. Oh. All right. Now, where is the gold? Chest is over there by the wagon. Ah, Louis. Yes, sir, I'll check. I'm sure this seems ungrateful of us, after all your efforts in our behalf. <laughs> We were in such a hurry when we buried the gold, we weren't quite sure ourselves where it was. It's rather a clever scheme of mine, wasn't it? How did you happen to pick Hayboy? Well, <laughs> that, sir, is a trade secret. You mean Mr. Chang is on a, a sucker list? With three stars after his name. Oh, what's he mean, Mr. Paladin? Professor! Hey, Professor! What is it, Louis? Hey, there ain't no gold in that chest. It, it's empty. They must have hit it someplace. All right. I have no time for this sort of humor. Where's the gold? Well, it was in the chest the last time Where I looked. Where is it? <gasps> oh, you bad man. What did you do with that gold? Mr. Wong hid gold. Miss Wong. Yes, sir, Mr. Pilot. Where? Well, I... Uh... Tell him. I... They're dangerous men, Miss Wong. Tell him. Well, ah. Uh... I show. Yeah. Come with Mr. Wong. I show Keep you. Keep him covered, Louis. I'm going with her. All right, lead the way, young lady. Lisa. Wait a minute. Hold up there. Over this way, sir. Well, it's so dark I can't see you. Where are you? Over here. You just keep a walk. That's right. Keep a walk. Uh, this way? That's right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Professor, what's wrong? Hey, Professor, what's the matter? Over here, sir. Professor, over here. Where? I can't see it. You're right. This way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds as though Miss Wong 
bagged herself a couple of bad men. Oh, Mr. Paladin, a uh, dozen men fall in holes we dig. Yeah. We don't understand, Mr. Paladin. Miss Wong don't hide gold out there. Miss Wong put gold in many tikan in wagon. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Wong, you didn't. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Another piece of cake, Miss Apollida? Mm, no. Oh, thank you. This, mm, this is a wonderful party, and I want to thank you. And I I want to thank you for that check you slipped under my door this morning, but I, I don't feel that I should accept it. Oh, you saw Miss Apollida now. We make a business deal. We pay for a very nice reward money. Yeah. You made quite a haul in reward money, didn't you? Yeah. Um, how do you plan to spend all that? Well, uh, Celestial Dragon Society take their share to build playground. Very nice for a little girl, little boy in Chinatown. Oh, well, that's certainly worthwhile. You know, Mr. Paladin, Mr. Wong raised in a mission in Hong Kong. Mr. Wong sent money to mission. <laughs> Very nice, Miss Wong. He saw, and uh, hey, boy, send money to cousins in China. Uh, pay their way to America. Well, that that's all very generous and unselfish, but it seems to me that... You deserve to spend some of that money on yourselves, didn't you indulge yourselves at all? Oh, oh yes, sir. Uh, we make investment. Oh, well, now, that's sound thinking. Oh, we make a very good deal here. Really? Oh, yes, sir. You read this. Ah, well, let's see. Uh, there is no reason why you should be a slave and toil all your life for nothing. <laughs> Others have grown rich around you. Why not yes, you? Sir. Why not? The opportunity is here for you to... Oh, no. No, you didn't. Hey, boy, tell me, you didn't put your money on this scheme. Hi, oh, yes, sir. Oh, 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 hey, boy. Miss Wong. Are you one of those people who are always on the go? Like you, our CBS newsmen are on the move all the time, too, always in the direction of the biggest news developments of the day. Their own busy schedules give them a practical understanding of the value listeners put upon their services. They know you rely on them for accuracy at all times, and they have a first-hand appreciation of the importance of clarity and brevity as well. That all of these standards are kept in mind by our highly skilled, highly experienced newsmen is demonstrated over and over again in the frequent news broadcast you hear on CBS Radio. The busier your own day, the more you'll appreciate the efforts of our CBS News staff. These men offer you a direct link with history day by day. But more than that, they do their job with full regard for your busy schedule. They keep you fully informed with no waste of time, no waste of words. For accuracy, brevity, and clarity in news reports, for news at frequent intervals and at convenient times, keep tuned to CBS Radio every day. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, he is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ann Dowd. Featured in the cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Barney Phillips, and Sam Edwards. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. Will Travel.